It has been two days since I was last out here filming and there has already been a ton of progress on building our house. You can see we have a roadway in place here. I did stop back by here yesterday night just to kind of see what was going on, but I didn't have the camera with me so I didn't film an update. Uh, run down here real quick though and kind of show you a little bit more. You can see like I said we got a nice roadway in here now. Lots of gravel so hopefully this driveway will be able to support the cement trucks that will be coming in here. That work will be happening tomorrow. You can start to see a little bit in the distance there of where our house will be located. The last time I was out here filming they were bringing the gravity drain as well as the sump pump drain back from there and bringing that in right up here to the house. This uh, ditch right here that runs underneath the road, you could tell that this is always a really wet corner over here, but they did go ahead and throw a pipe in here so that they could go ahead and drive over the top of this. So the water is draining out nicely over that way now. Almost all this work that you're seeing here has been done by Finney Trucking out of Sanford. So if you ever need any excavating or or any sort of dirt moving happening, make sure you give Finney Trucking a call. And this work happening over here is being organized by our builder, Mark Hammond at Forever Built Homes. So we got a hole in the ground. So Finney Trucking over dug this by eight foot all the way around the house so that they could go ahead and place the forms in here. So the forms are now in place for our footings. These will be poured tomorrow. It is pretty cool though being out here for the very first time since we actually have an outline able to visualize the house here. Um, it's a lot different than seeing it in with flags. I'm gonna just keep walking around here a little bit further, check on a few of these angles. You can see the gravity drains coming straight in from this angle, so right in from that tree comes right over to the corner of there. That's where the croc's gonna be. So we have a four inch gravity drain and then a two inch sump pump line. Might be able to see that over there a little more. This area though is the uh, front porch. So this will be the entrance to our house, garage over here, like mud room, office is here, um, flex room back there, kitchen, our nice, uh, going to be a living room, so this will be the two-story great room, our master bath, and our master bedroom back there. So, kind of got the uh, blueprint, the plan down in my head now already of where everything's going to be located. I have to definitely take a couple pictures to document this. You know how I am, I'm always covering things as much as possible. Let me just jump down here and we'll walk across here. So. A lot of clay down in here. This is where I wanted uh, the footings placed pretty much right at our water table. And you can see this is the water table. There's a little bit of water over here in this corner sitting right on top of the clay. We got about a foot of sand. And then above that was our topsoil that is all pushed back there. So they went ahead and pushed all that off with the bulldozer that's over there by my truck. Um, this area here will be our back porch. So be able to sit on the porch here and be able to see the pond over there and our nice backyard all over back in here. Right here, like I was saying, we have the gravity drain coming in as well as the two inch uh, sub pump line. Looks like they got all the tile ready to put in place, the sock tile for drainage around the house. Again, I'm not an expert when it comes to building, just like I wasn't an expert uh, doing the dam failures and still I'm not an expert on that. But I am learning here and I'm just really excited to see our house being constructed. I probably will come back out here again tomorrow after this gets poured just to kind of see how things look. Um, it's definitely an exciting time in our lives try to get out here as much as I can and document it. But I'm gonna head out of here now
jumping into some of the drone video now, just flying the drone directly up the driveway where I just got done walking. So it doesn't look too much different from the drone than actually physically walking up here yourself. But one of the things that we are able to do is gain altitude like I'm doing right now. And we're probably about 50 feet in altitude, getting that bird's eye view of the footing forms in place. And again, I really just wanted to see what this looked like from the air, mainly checking the angle that the house is actually facing towards the pond. Uh, the pond is back there at the very top of the screen right now. It's that area where you see all the weeds still standing and not brush hogged down. And the ribbon that you're seeing near the top right hand corner of the screen should be the back of our grass. So we're kind of angling that back towards the back of the pond. It will be a very big yard. Um, hopefully we'll be purchasing a zero turn lawnmower. Otherwise this will be taking a very long time to cut down and actually mow. You can see where that gravity drain is located though. They got all that buried and covered back up now. Straight line though, right back towards the back corner of the house. They did go ahead and put a crock in. You'll see that in an upcoming video. I have a ton of videos already filmed and I just am sitting down and editing a whole bunch of these. I got a little bit of time now, so there'll be probably quite a few of these videos released fairly close together. And there's been just a ton of progress on our house already. They did go ahead and just pop in an 18 inch culvert, uh, actually crock, um, but we do need a 24 inch crock because we do need a very large four inch check valve on that four inch gravity line. Again, just kind of going up to 400 feet in altitude, this being the legal limit that I'm able to fly the drone up to and seeing what everything looks like from way up here. And now this next clip that I'm jumping down into is actually the driveway coming in. See, we got some awesome fall colors on our maple tree there. I think there's only about three maple trees on this property, so definitely glad that we do have a nice big one there. But like I've said in the previous video, we will be planting a ton more maples. Again, a little bit lower elevation, probably only 10 feet in elevation here. I'm gonna fly up this driveway. There's a ton of water right here in this area. We will be putting a culvert underneath the driveway to allow this water to go back and forth, but it really doesn't go anywhere. It's kind of just a swampy area of the property and that water just pretty much hangs out there all year long. In the middle of summer, it does dry up a little bit but kind of just flying up where the driveway will be located. So you can see we kind of come up here towards the front of the house, hook around the corner, and then you should be able to see the entire front of the house based on the angle that we have it on. We are actually originally going to keep this house uh, straight parallel to the road, and we looked at it more and more and actually decided, you know, we probably should put it on a little bit of an angle and ended up working out better angling it back towards the pond as well. Again, just checking on the angle and seeing how it looks towards the pond. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you go ahead, hit that like button. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. You're going to be able to see us build this whole house. Not us personally build, but, you know, have someone else build our dream house for us. And, you know, if you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave those in the comment section down below. Until the next one, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching and make sure you hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Also make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next videos I will be posting and leave your questions, comments, and suggestions below.